Hey, eighth grade. So this is just a very brief instructional video on what you're going to be doing for your assignment today. So let's go take a quick look at it right here. So um, if you follow the link on GradeLink, that will bring you to this Google Doc. So of course, what you need to do here is exactly what you did the other day, um, which is just that you're going to need to click File, go to Make a Copy, um, enter your name where it says Last Name, and then share it with amarshrca at gmail.com. I didn't put the instructions here because that should be something you guys should be familiar with by now. Um, but uh, just make sure that you do that for grading purposes. So that will count as you actually turning it in. So um, what you're going to be doing is if you take a brief look at this, basically all you're doing here is you are entering information, typing information into these particular boxes. And uh, what I want you to do is just imagine that this is a Venn diagram. Um, I couldn't make one, obviously, because it's very hard to make a Venn diagram on here where you can actually type in it. So this is just mimicking that. But because of this, I was able to give you some specific things to look at. So all you have to do is you need to write one to two sentences in each of these boxes with the exception of this any distinct features box in which you will need to include two separate things. So that would be, um, you know, two to four sentences uh, total in these two boxes in particular in this any distinct features box for both of them. So for example, um, there are two columns here that are specific to the actual story. So for Secret Life of Walter Mitty, you're just gonna write, how is the protagonist different from the protagonist of Little Match Girl? And don't just say, well, he's a guy and Little Match Girl's a girl. No, we know that. You guys know what I expect. Take it a little bit further. Maybe that Walter uses his dreams in a little different way than the little match girl uses her dreams. Maybe you could talk about that. Maybe you could talk about how Walter is a much older person and the little match girl is just a very younger person. So naturally their dreams are going to um, be a little bit different in how they do that. Okay. And then in the similarities, you're going to uh, look at anything that's similar between the two stories. So I want you to find at least five things that are similar, or at least come up with five things that are similar between the two stories. You can, if you want, talk about similarities between the protagonist or the conflict or similarities between how the dreams function and the narrative structure, both. But honestly, that's not going to work for all of these. The two that this is probably going to work with most are these right here, in which you could talk about similarities, similarities between the protagonist and the conflict, but ultimately that's up to you how you do that. So basically, long story short, you're following along through this. You are basically filling in information. You do not have to use quotes. Um, you're just giving your own thoughts, one to two sentences per box, with the exception of these indistinct ones, in which you'll need to have one to two for each number there. All right, so that should be pretty straightforward. Just imagine this is a Venn diagram with some specific, more specific instructions on what you're looking for. And that's basically that. So uh, make sure that you follow uh, the rules at the beginning of clicking file and make a copy and then renaming it and sending it to me, sharing it with me and all that. And that's all you have to do for today. So good luck on all of that. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. But if you have any questions about anything um, or you have trouble with it, just send me a text and uh, or a Hangouts message and we'll figure it out from there. So looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with.